guys welcome back if you haven't subscribed please do the more that subscribe obviously my content get out there and actually reaches people that really need it or want to improve their lives so feel free to press the left hand logo button of class and of course if you want to know when i'm going to have new videos out you can follow me on twitter at brycon underscore raw and of course my instagram is brycon underscore raw as well stay tuned cheers okay guys so what we're going to learn today is about personal magnetism and basically what this is is a simultaneous effect of psychosomatic kinesthetic intelligence now that's a mouthful so basically in so little words i'm trying to say is that our bodies actually have intelligence it's a living organism and probably our biggest organ that we have within the human body now of course we were talking about presence and how it affects our mental physical and emotional aspects of our lives magnetism does the same what this does is creating the effect and what i want to use is the metaphor of tony robbins so he's a very magnetic person basically his voice is very profound he creates a very physical environment people are jumping screaming and creating so much emotion from one another as well as his thoughts manifesting what he wants and basically what magnetism is is nerve force so anytime that we're about to reach any atmosphere there is nerve force moving around so you know basically creating almost a cloud of energy around us and this is our thoughts of course our words and our physical actions just like presence just like our emotions our thoughts and reactions so what we're looking at is <clears throat> the little aspects that we have so we're looking at the willpower and of course we're looking at the visualization so this is how we create magnetism. So it's an electrical discharge that we create within the environment. And if you've ever been in a situation where you're with a friend or a colleague or an employee or a client and they feel like they're hostile or they feel like they're sad, you feel it, you empathize with them. And basically what happened was they were stimulating the environment that affected you. Now, in any situation, of course, there's one person that is creating more magnetism than the other, and the other one is receiving that. So there's a push and a pull. So what we want to do is create the magnetism. And of course, we've seen these situations in a lot of domains that we have personal conversations with a lot of people so of course what we're doing is creating the vision and the more vivid the more powerful it is and of course once we do that we will it and uh, the idea of will is very interesting because it's not something that you can actually put in words it's just something that is just instinctual so we create more will power and it's almost like you want to move your finger, but until you will it, it's not going to happen. So our bodies are like sponges. And the more that we do not vitalize our bodies with oxygen and stretching out, bending and twisting, such as yoga, breathing with meditation, the vitalization of our body parts aren't gonna be as accurate. So if you're hitting your older stages or if you're overworking you feel like your body is just done overworked overwhelmed and drained so the best way to actually get some energy is to create more vitalization so you would stretch in the morning and that would wake you up of course we're using muscles that need to be conscious about of course this discharge of energy i want you to think about it like harry potter so of course he has his wand magnificent malioso right and it just creates a ball of energy until he discharges it 
And that's the same thing that we want to do with our thoughts, our physical actions, and of course, any emotion that we're trying to project because what we project, people will accept. And finally, what we're trying to do is understand that our bodies are like coils and there's electricity coming through them and depending on the type of coil or how it's bent, it creates heat, light, or doesn't light at all. So we are basically the conductors or a non-conductor. And we are creating the effect that we want our environment and atmosphere to reciprocate in. So hopefully that actually gave you a really good foundation of what magnetism really is. On the next video that I'm going to have, it's going to have some key affirmations that you can use today, every day, to understand how magnetism actually works. All right guys, so I'm out and about what I just talked about. Peace.